Uh, good afternoon. We want to do uh, digital electronics today. Uh, I want to do a recap of what we did last round when we were talking about uh, digital electronics. We started with logic gates. We defined different types of gates. We talked about uh, the narrow gate, the node gate as an inverter, the NAND gate, uh, the, NAND gate the AND gate, and the OR gate. But as we continued, we remember that we did the true table of the three uh, basic gates, which is the node gate, the OR gate, and the AND gate. Today, we want to proceed, and then we talk about the other gates and how they are implemented by the true table and how they are going to be used, then again we shall see how comes the NAND and the NOR gate are referred to as universal gates. So today I want us to proceed because uh, uh, the, the first lesson we talk about the first three gates, which is the NOT gate, the AND gate, and the uh, OR gate, and the NAND gate. So today I want us to talk about the NOR gate. So the NOR gate is basically you can see that the, the, the consequence of inverting the output of an OR gate is the one which generated a gate referred to as what? NOR gate. So let us talk, talk about a NOR gate here. NOR gate. So now the NOR gate is basically the, let us draw the, this is an OR gate. Then you negate or you invert. So you have inputs A and B here. A and B as the inputs. Through the OR gate, we show that the output becomes A plus B. Then now the output here, F, let me today use F, for the NOR gate will be A plus B, which is the output of an OR gate inverted. So basically, that's why I was saying that the consequence of inverting the outputs of a, an OR gate were generated a gate which we refer to NOR gate. So NOR basically is OR and a NOT. But now the OR are first, then you negate the output of the uh, OR gate. But this is not the symbol for a, an OR gate, uh, uh, for a NOR gate. So I want to draw the symbol of a two input NOR gate. I draw also the true table. And I write the Boolean expression for this gate. So the, the NOR gate appears as this is the NOR gate. Then it has a negation here. Then if we have A and B, we have A and B. So we can say from there that F is equal to A plus B bar. So that's the output of a NOR gate. So, this is a symbol. So we can say here, this is the symbol, symbol of a NOR gate. That's our symbol. And then from there, I want us to do the true table to show what's happening. So the true table is the inputs. And then we have the outputs. So our inputs, on the road, want to be straight. Our inputs are A and B, and our output is F, which is A plus B, but inverted. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now, we, have a, we agree that an OR gate is a parallel switch, which means it will not give us an output only and only when our inputs are absent or they are not present. So it means it's only the here we where it does not give us an output. That's an or, an or gate. And we agree that the output of an OR gate are to be inverted. So now here it means it will be 1, 0, 0, 0. Since the output of an OR gate are the opposite of the output of an OR gate. But if I don't draw the, the bigger true table, some people don't understand what we are doing. So what I do here now, I will come and draw another true table, which has even the OR gate before we get the output. So we have the inputs. Let me draw another one here. The inputs. Then we have the output or outputs. So what will happen is I have A and B. And then we have A plus B. But our output F 
is A plus B inverted. So let us see what will happen. I've done this so that at least people will see that in this uh, gate, it is the output of an OR gate inverted. So here now, we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So what will happen to this OR gate? So now, OR gate, we agreed that it will give us an output when all inputs are present or n of them. So because here there is none, so an OR is 0, here it will be 1, 1, 1. This is an OR gate. And from above here, I have shown you that the output of an OR gate will be inverted to obtain the output of a NOR gate. So then invert here, we get 1, 0, 0, 0. So now, if you check this truth table and this one, it means this one I was trying to show that we, we come from OR to get what? To get a NOR. Here, I just went the direct. So it's good that I show uh, uh, to the learners that at least the outputs of a NOR gate are the inversion or the opposite of the output of a OR gate. Then now, there are two main uh, other gates remaining. The next one is the exclusive OR gate. Exclusive OR gates. In the bracket, we call it XOR. In the short, XOR gates. So why do we call it exclusive? Something exclusive is something special. This, uh, it is a form of an OR gate, yes, but it is somehow uh, exclusive or uh, different from the OR gate in that this gate will give us an output when either of the inputs, A or B, is at notch one, but not both. Remember, through the, uh, the OR gate, when either or both of them are at notch one, we get an uh, output. But this one will give us an output when either, just here only, either this one or this one, but not both. So here now, we can draw the, uh, the exclusive OR gate. So the symbol appears like an OR gate, yes. But now, our inputs are fed here, so that's the symbol of uh, an exclusive OR gate. So we have A and B. Here we have, I can use even Z is equal to A exclusive B. So uh, this symbol means exclusive OR. This one means exclusive OR. That's the meaning of that symbol. So you see this, um, yes, it is OR gate, but it is exclusive, it is somehow special. So then from there we draw the truth table. We have the inputs, we have the inputs, and then we have the output. And our inputs are A and B. Then our output will be Z is equal to A exclusive B. Mm -hmm. So we can have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So now, because we have said that an exclusive OR gate will give us an output when either of the inputs is at root 1, it means it is here and here. Others will be 0. That's now exclusive, no, uh, exclusive OR gate. So it is a, a special also type of gate which can be used in when you want to talk about the data com, which is that it's very good to do what you call odd parity check. It's a very good in odd parity checker to indicate whether the number of ones are odd. You can use the he also now this odd parity checker can be very good in error control and or, or error detection techniques. Those who are doing data communication, maybe in the future, as you are moving next, we shall realize that this one is very good in error detection, but using odd parity. So then the last gate is the XNOR. What you see again, the same, same place. The XNOR gate is the next one. So the XNOR, now that in the packet it's shown as XNOR. Exclusive NOR. So, the exclusive NOR is basically the output of an exclusive OR inverted. So what we do, let me just 
start fact uh, a bit is this the exclusive nor exclusive or this is if you are keen this is exclusive or a and b then now here we get a exclusive b yes but you negate once you negate the way we did in the nor get once you negate here we get a exclusive b in that so the outputs of an XOR or a, an exclusive OR gate are inverted to obtain the output of an XNOR gate. But this, this, this is not the true table. The true table, is, is, sorry, this is not the symbol. The symbol for an exclusive NOR gate is this way. Let me draw it now. I was trying to show you what was happening before you obtain the output of an XNOR gate. We draw, I want to draw the correct the correct gate, so it is the XNOR gate, so then we put a negation here. So here we have A and a B, and our Z is A exclusive, A exclusive B inverted. That's now a symbol of exclusive nor. Then from there, I want to draw the true table so that you can see clearly. We have the inputs, then we have the output. Uh -huh. So our inputs are two for our case and the B. We can have A exclusive, A exclusive B, but our output is Z equal to A exclusive B, then you invert. Why am I showing you both of them is I want to show you that this gate is, comes from the output of the uh, or, uh, exclusive OR gate in uh, inverted. That's why I'm doing both. Otherwise, I could have used only one. So from there now, we can have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Mm -hmm. Remember, we did the exclusive OR, so we agree that in exclusive OR is when any of the two, not both, but any of them as an, uh, is, uh, when a either of the two are, is at rush one, is when you obtain the output for exclusive OR. But we have agreed from there that exclusive OR, exclusive OR is the output of exclusive or inverted. So one, if I invert, here it will be 1, and here it will be 1. But here it will be zeros. So in digital electronics, we say that uh, exclusive or uh, is used as odd path checker, while exclusive nor is used as even path checker. What do we mean by that way is, if you are a king, when the number of ones are even, in simple terms, when the number of ones are even, the XNOR gate will give you one. When the number of ones are odd, the, X, the XOR gate will give you, or the exclusive OR will give you one. When they are even here and here, and even, even if there are four of them, the XNOR, XNOR gate will give us a logic one. In simple terms, those are the basic gates which we, are, we have we use. I, we started remember with the NOT gate, we talk about the AND gate, we talked about the uh, OR gate, we, came, we have come to a NAND gate, NOR gate, exclusive OR, and then exclusive NOR. Now, mostly those ICs, most of them which are in the market, are NAND and NOR gates. And because they are uh, uh, easily available, and the NAND and the NOR also, they are fast in operation, we call the two gates universal gates, which implies what? They are universal gates because other gates can be implemented from either NAND or NOR gates. The other gates can be implemented from there. So I want us to talk about the universal gates, and then we try to implement those gates from there so that we see what happens. So I want us to talk about the universal gates, but before we talk about the universal gates, because uh, there is a guy whom I want to use to obtain or to implement other gates using the two gates more so the NAND and the NOR, because they are the two most uh, versatile or most universal gates. So what we do now is, 
we remember there's a, a rule here, or there's some two laws which you want to apply, and the guy who brought them is by the name De Morgan. So uh, uh, we talk about the theorems of De Morgan's theorems, De Morgan's theorems, and there are only two, so that I will use them, the De Morgan's theorems. So in the De Morgan's theorems, number one says in simple terms, A plus B bar is equal to A bar dot B bar. And number two says A dot B bar is same as A bar plus B bar. So in, 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 in a theory, you can say that the, the sum of two variables inverted is equal to the dot or the, pro uh, the, the, uh, the product of two variables each inverted independently. I repeat again. The sum of two variables inverted is equal or is the same as the product of two variables each inverted independently. Number two, the product of two variables inverted is equal to the sum of two variables each inverted independently. So let us prove if this is true using the truth table. I like using that so that people can see. So we have inputs. We have inputs here. And then we have several outputs. We have outputs. So our inputs still we use A and B. Others can, they can use X and Y. There's no problem. Then we have A plus B. We have uh, A dot B. Then from there we can have A dot B bar. And also we have, we want to prove if this one A dot B bar is same as this A. A, A. I could have started with even A bar. Let me start with A bar and B bar. I hope that my board will be enough to cater for all those. We have A bar. We have B bar. We have A plus B. We have A dot B. We have A uh, dot B bar, we have also, because we say this equals this one, we want to prove it is true, plus B bar, then we have A plus B bar, and then we have A bar dot B bar. So we want to prove if this is true that they are, they are equal. Is it true? So once if we prove that they are equal, then we can say the one say the truth of the matter, and we have proven it using the truth table. So now here we have our inputs. Our inputs are A and B, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Mm -hmm. Let's check what will happen. A inverted will be 1, 1, 0, 0. B inverted will be 1, 0, 1, 0. Now, next is A plus B. A plus B, as we remember, it was an OR gate. An OR gate is a parallel switch. We give us an output when any or all of them are at row one. So an OR gate will be zero here, but or the other process will be one. This is an AND gate. An AND gate is a series switch. We give us an output when all inputs are on, switched on, or are present, or at, are at logic one. And the only place where they are at logic one here, other, other places are at logic zero. So we are up to there. But remember, our target is, is it true that A plus B bar is same as A bar dot B bar? And is it true that A dot B bar is same as A bar plus B bar? Is what I, I want us to prove. Now, once we get A dot B, we invert. Here we get one, one, one. Zero. Then A, A bar plus B bar. So we come here. A bar 1 or 1 will be equal to 1. 1 or 0 will be equal to 1 still. 0 plus 1 will be equal to 1. And then 0 plus 0 will be equal to 0. So if you are a keen, we can say up to here that indeed A dot B bar is same as A bar plus plus B bar, since the outputs here are equal or they are the same. Now, let us prove the last one. 
uh, a plus b bar is it the same as a bar dot b bar let us continue so a plus b is this one we invert we get 1 0 0 0 what about a dot b bar a bar dot b bar 1 dot 1 is same as 1 1 dot 0 is 0 0 dot 1 will be 0 0 dot 0 will be 0 so from there we can say the truth is De Morgan say the truth that a dot b bar is same as a bar plus b bar since via the truth table the outputs are the same. Also, a plus b bar is same as a dot a bar dot b bar since the outputs from the truth table are the same. So ensure that in your, during your own time you understand this truth table, you check it. And then now, when we shall apply the De Morgan's theorems, it will be very easy for you to change from a dot to a, from a product to a sum, or from a sum to a, a product. Remembering, uh, as we are continuing, we shall talk about things like sum of the product and product of the sum, which will assist us to do what we call K map or the kernel map of up to four, uh, four variables. Now, I want to use now the NAND gates to implement other gates so that you see the truth of application of what? De Morgan. So using NAND gates, because they are universal gates, there are two gates we say they are universal gates, which is NAND and NOR. Now let us talk about how the NAND gate can be used to implement other, other gates. How the NAND gate can be used to implement the other gates. So the subtopic here now is universal gates. And our universal gates, there are two universal gates. And as I, I said earlier, we call them universal because one, they are easily available. Two, other gates can be implemented using these two uh, universal gates. So our universal gates are number one, NAND. And number two, we have uh, NOR. But for today's lesson, I will use NAND gates to implement other gates. So now the first one is, the first one A, is a not yet, not yet, using NAND gates. Not yet using NAND gates. So I want to use the NAND gate to implement a not gate. So uh, let us do a recap. A not gate was the only gate which took what? Only one input. So that here we have a, here our y was a bar. But the all other gates take two or more inputs. And we have been told in an exam, use the NAND gate to implement a NOT gate. So what we do, we come and draw the NAND gate here. Our NAND gate was appearing this way, you remember, a and b. So our, uh, uh, sorry, because now we have only one input, we don't have two, because we are supposed to have two. So what we do, we jump a wire here, so that now the input becomes as A, reaching here, it will be A this side and A this side. So it will be A dot A bar. So the output will be A dot A bar, which we need to understand that is same as A bar by checking if this is true. Now, for example, if A is 0, 0 dot 0 would be 0 in the you get what? 1, which is true. If A is 0, here yeah, I get 1. If A is 1, 1 dot 1 in the you get 0. So, and here if it is 1, I invert, I get 0. So indeed, you can say from there that A dot A bar is same as A bar. So by, by doing this way, I have implemented NOR gate. Uh, sorry, not yet using NAND gates. That's the first one. Remember, the first is not yet using NAND gates. The second one is uh, AND gate using NAND gates. So the second one will be the second one is AND gates, AND gates using NAND gates. AND gate using an AND gate. And AND gate, if we remember, it was having two inputs, yes. 
he was having two inputs, yes. So this is an, an AND gate. Here we have A and a B. So our Y is A dot B. But now, this one is not available in the market. You have found both the, the AND gate. You have realized that it's not in the market. What's available is the NAND gate. So we want to see as engineers or as a technician who is jumbling, uh, the, doing a certain circuit, how do I implement the AND gate using NAND gates only? So what I do, I come with the first NAND gate. Let us see the first NAND gate here with the two inputs, A and the B. A and the B. Then from there now, what I write here is this A dot B bar. But remember, my target is A dot B without a bar. So then now, as a, a candidate, I remember I'm supposed to remove this bar. So it's upon us, or as, uh, it's upon the, uh, the lecturer or the candidate to check how do I remove this bar. So I remember. There's something we did somewhere when I was talking about the node gates, and now I would apply it here. If I have two, two uh, if I have A here, here it will be A bar, and here it will be A bar bar. And if you remember, I said A bar bar is the same as A, and we can prove here. If this one is 1, this one will be 0, this one will be 1. If this one is 0, it's the same as 1, this one will be 0. So if I have two bars, I can remove this bar. So that now I remain with what? A dot B uh, without a bar. So what I do again, I now pass the output of this, the first NAND gate, through another NAND gate. So I have to pass them through another NAND gate. So that now here I have A dot B bar bar. Two bars from what we have seen up there will be the same as A dot B. So from what I've seen here, the application here, that A is same as A bar bar. So down here now, if I have two uh, bars, A bar bar is same as A dot B. So I have in two, two NAND gates, we implement what? A and NAND gate. So that way, now, we are able to implement a, a, an AND gate using NAND gates. The third one, if there's no query, for, the third one is... Or gate using NAND gates. So now we change to C. Number C is or gate using NAND gates. So you see now these gates are universal. So C is or gate. That is C. Or gate using NAND gates. So how does the OR gates appear using NAND gates? So an OR gate, if you remember, it is looked this way. This is an OR gate. A and B. So here we have A plus B. So if you are keen, an OR gate is having a sign of Summation. An NAND gate is a sign of dot, which means an, an NAND gate is made from an AND gate. So what can I do to change this sign? So then I have to remember the De Morgan's theorem to be applicable here. So I can say that from here, if my Y is equal to this way, before I even I draw it, now you come here and, and then you think, you say this way. Y is, is same as Y bar bar. That you do something by doing nothing in the simple terms. Y is same as Y bar bar. In the way we said A is equal to A bar bar. So if Y is the same as A bar bar, then it is same as this way, bar bar. Mm -hmm. So from this one, I am able to change the sign here using my De Morgan's theorem. So from here, I know that this one will be equal to, it will be the same as A bar. Now if I separate the because now, let, let us come back here. A plus B bar is the same as A bar dot B bar. But now they are separate. So now, coming back here, remember this is the Morganist theorem. Then it is, means it's A bar dot. This one will change it. 
ba, ba de now, ba. And once my target was to change this sign from a price to a dot, and I found it, now I can draw what? I can draw, which means now to obtain an OR gate using NAND gates, I require the first NAND to obtain a bar, then the second to obtain b bar, then the third to do what? To obtain the output. So from there, I know I have the first NAND gate, the first NAND gate will give us a bar. By feeding it with A, will give us A bar. Then the second NAND gate will give us, will give us the second one, B. So you have B bar. Mm -hmm. Then once from there, I have this A bar and B bar now inverted. So I bring the third NAND gate. The third NAND gate. So that now from here I have this coming here, and also this one coming here. So from there you can say our output F is same as A bar dot B bar bar. So you can see that from remembering the Morgan's theorem and remembering the rules of note gates, I'm able to change the outputs of the, the I can be able to implement the, the, the NOR gate using what? Using NAND gates only. So during your own time, I want you to try to use uh, NAND gate to implement exclusive OR. You see, if there's a, a trouble through our Jemusha uh, YouTube online, you can ask a question if it was not possible, then we do what? We draw it here during our next lesson. But basically, the NAND gates can be used, can be used as a universal gate to implement this node, to implement even NOR, because now if this NOR, I pass it through another, Another gate here will obtain NOR uh -huh. to implement uh, exclusive OR, which I want you to try, to implement an, an AND gate and also to implement an OR gate. So all, uh, you can see from here that if I have a, an IC, you are made of NAND gate. You don't need to say that now I cannot be implement my circuit. Maybe you had a, you want to implement a certain microcontroller using these uh, ICs. I, because I don't have, I don't have uh, the or or not uh, and gate or not gate. I'm not able to do it. Since you have you have realized that these two gates are universal gates and they can be implemented to or they can be used to implement the other gates. From now henceforth, I'm hoping. That once you want to implement a circuit, you can use the two gates to implement others. Now, a question which can come to an exam, we are about to finish our lesson, but let us do some questions which maybe can come to an exam, and then people have what problems to get them. We have what we call combinational uh, logic circuits, or combinational circuits, that you have been given a, a figure. Once you are given a figure, you are supposed to obtain some variables. And it's what they want us to do. So we can say figure one. Now let me write here. Figure one. Figure one shows a combinational, a combinational logic circuit. So then we draw the figure here. We can even decide we have A, we have B, we have C, and then we have maybe D. So our, the first one here, we have maybe an AND gate. This AND gate, this one has passed through another gate. This is B. I can call this one even K, output K. Then again, I can get this one through another gate. We draw the gate correctly. This is also very common questions in the exams. This is another, uh, another gate here. Then from there you can ask a question. So this gate also can take this and can take this one. Mm -hmm. So once from there we can have this. Then we can have another one down here. We can have another one near, which is now NAND. And now NAND, we can say, is made of this and then D direct. Then from there, 
uh, I want us to complicate maybe matters kidogo. We can have also another gate here. This is another gate. But it is negated now to be different. So we can have this and also this one coming there. Then from there we can have the dust gate. This is the dust gate. And here we have what? We have maybe output Q. Here we have K. Here we can have N. Here we can have uh, P. Here we can have Q. And then we have R. So, now let us go to the question. Figure 1 shows a combinational logic circuit. Then the question says, obtain out the Boolean expression, obtain obtain the Boolean, the Boolean expression for outputs the Boolean expression for outputs 1, 2 so for output K, the first one then we have N, the second one then we have P, the third one then we have Q, and then we have R. Q, and then R. So maybe then now from there, you can get your marks. So unless you understand these logic gates and their expressions, because in the exam, unless they ask you about the, how you implement what other gates using the universal gates, mostly you can be given this circuit. I want to do the question before I, I, I stop. The first one is this one. You obtain the outputs. The next one, I will give you the true table. We draw the circuit. Then from there, I, I believe that we can stop there now. So if you don't understand the, the Boolean expression of each rush yet, you cannot obtain the, the output in each state. Like now, K, if you are keen here in K, already we have A bar. So K is A bar dot B because it's an AND gate. So from here, you can say this one is equal to a bar dot B. That's the K. Uh -huh. Who is next? N. N, this gate, if you check here, is exclusive gate, exclusive R. I have to remember the, 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 the Boolean expression for exclusive R. And the input is B and what? C. So N is same as B exclusive. Who? C. B exclusive C. Then from there, P. P now is the output of N and then D. So you can see that from there, it is, but this is an anandigate. So it is N uh -huh, dot D bar. But what is N? N already is B exclusive C dot now D. So it is equal to now output is the correct thing is B exclusive C bar dot C. Everything in bar dot D. Sorry. Dot D. So uh, P is B exclusive or C dot D. This is, D is this one, but B exclusive C is our N. Q. Q is an output of N and the K through an exclusive NOR. So Q is a mass K exclusive K exclusive N K exclusive N, then because it is an exclusive nor bar, then from there now the easiest way is to ask yourself what is K? K it is A dot A bar dot B. So the output is a mass A bar dot B exclusive. Let me put the bracket here maybe exclusive N. Our N was B. Exclusive C. 
be exclusive C, this one also should be in bracket to show the difference, then bar. That is our Q. And then lastly, our R. Output R. Output R is Q or P. So output our output R, let me write up there. I'm not sure if you are seeing that one there. But I can write somewhere someplace so that at least the people are going to be seeing what's happening. Our output R there now would be equal to output R is Q plus P. Now, what's Q? Q is this, all of this. So it's the same as R is the same as A bar dot B uh -huh. exclusive into bracket B exclusive C up to there that's Q plus P and P is there plus B exclusive C dot D bar and that's our output so you are given this you determine the the outputs in each in each case by knowing the Boolean expression of each gate. And that's what is required. Expect some question like this one in your exams and also in your circuits so that you can implement something. Like now, when you want to talk, you want to see how we implement circuits. Remember, as we are proceeding, these logic gates, we, uh, we, we want to use them to implement what? Free flops. These free flops, we want to use them to maybe make what? Counters and Things like shift registers, CPO, PSO, PPO, all of those shift registers, they will come from this logic gate. That's why we start from the logic gates, so that as, as we are proceeding, we can understand each logic gate is supposed to do what and how is supposed to be performed. I want us to do the last question in, uh, today, so that now from there, we are able to understand how we apply the logic gates we have been talking about from the other lesson and today's lesson in our circuits. So, I want to draw another table. Then from there, from the true table, from the true table, we can draw a logic combinational circuit like this one. So, we can say table one, table one, show... Boolean expression for different states. Uh -huh. Opt uh, draw the combinational logic circuit. The combination of logic circuits for output Z. Mm -hmm. So we have the inputs. I want I just want three. We have the inputs and then we have the outputs at each state. One does use three for now so that you don't complicate matters. So we can have input A, B, and C. So we have outputs differently. We have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So we can draw for output Z. So we can say here we have A dot B. Then here we have A plus B bar. Mm -hmm. Then we have A dot B. Let me put C here. A dot B exclusive A plus C. Exclusive A plus B bar. And then Z now, 
my z, that's what I wanted basically. Z is equal to A dot B. Uh, or we can just say this one should be equal to Z so that we don't complicate so much. Let's start from there. Now, our Z, which you wanted, is same as A dot B exclusive A plus C. Then I, I, I can even add, add another bar here so that we we'll see what's happening. So now this is our true table. So table one shows Boolean expressions for different uh, states. Then the first one, you can, we can, we can, in fact, we, can, we could have said complete the table and then draw the combinational logic circuit for the output Z, which is this one. So we are given the table, which is not complete. We are supposed to fill the table. Once we fill the table, we are done. We are, then we draw the logic circuit for output Z. So let us see what's happening. A dot B, let us start from here. Zero, zero would be zero, 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 uh, zero, one, one. That is A dot B. Then the new one is A plus C bar. So you add, you invert. This plus C, zero, one. Zero plus one is one, invert, you get zero. Zero plus zero is zero, you invert, you get one. One plus one, it is one, because it's an, an or get, you invert, you get zero. One plus zero, it is one, you invert, you get zero. One plus one is then is one, you invert, you get zero. So this then, our output is A dot B, exclusive NOR. So we have to remember the idea of exclusive NOR. Exclusive NOR A plus C bar. So that's why you see this bar there. So now we, we exclusive OR, then we invert. Remember I told you in exclusive NOR, unless the inputs are the same, the output will be zero. So we check, is there a place where the inputs are the same? No, they are not the same. So uh, then it implies that all of them would be zero, and I didn't want them to be zero. So what I would do, I would use an exclusive OR, so that I, at least we can capture some, some variations. So that exclusive NOR now, it is A dot B, which is this one, exclusive NOR A plus C bar. Yes, let us use that one so that you see. So an exclusive OR is supposed to do what? It's supposed to give us an output when either of the input is at logic 1. So it will be here 1. Here it will be 0, 1, 0, 1, and 1. So already we have completed the table. So what's remaining before we finish our lesson is what? To draw the combinational logic circuit for the A output or just to draw the logic circuit of the output Z. I want to draw it here. Remember the first question I did was from here coming here. Now you are given this, you go back. So that from there at least, it will be easier for us to apply what? Our gates in our circuits. So at least we have tackled uh, another topic which you call combination of circuits at this lesson. After understanding the gates, then now we com combine them and use them in implementing what? Our, our circuits. So now I want to, our output Z is same as A dot B exclusive or A plus C bar. So what we do, A dot B is an, 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 an and gate. So we have A, we have B, we have C. So the first one is A dot B, so I bring an and gate. An and gate, I get A, and then, so here I get A dot B. Then it is exclusive or A plus C. So already I have to have this A plus C inverted first before I do the necessary. So now I draw A plus C. So it is this an or an, an or gate, an or gate. So it is inverted here. So we bring A from up there. Then C. 
Why I'm doing this is this? because there's a jabber wire. It's, a most, it's not supposed to, to touch this one to do short, uh, can, it can short. So we pass, we bypass the, the jumper wire so that they can come here now. We have here A uh, plus C, but bar. So I'm already I've reached here. Now Z is exclusive nor of the two. Yeah, exclusive or. So now the output would be this way. Then we have or. Then the output feed is there. So here now we have Z is equal to A dot B exclusive nor A plus C bar bar. Now, we have done two ways. Either you will even this one. You go back to draw the truth table, or, or you obtain, you can be given a division here, like now K, N, uh, R, Z, what, what, or, or you are given the truth table. You complete the truth table. Once you complete the table, you obtain, you draw the circuit for output what? Z. So, in case they would bring any of them, what is important for you as a candidate is to understand the Boolean expression for each logic gate. From the day one, we talk about from the not yet up to the last yet, which was what? Exclusive nor. Once you understand the Boolean expression of each yet, it will be easy for you either to draw the logic circuit or to go back from the logic circuit to obtain the Boolean expression at each state. So basically, uh, uh, under logic gates in digital electronics, it is easier once you understand one, the logic gates and how they are going to be invented to the Boolean expression for each gate. No wonder we took a lot of time drawing the truth tables, understanding what's happening in each truth table, and doing the necessary Boolean expression for each table. Today, again, if you remember, we have tried to show that the universal gates, the NAND, more so NAND, I've tried to use NAND to show that NAND can be used to implement other gates. So once you are given maybe a uh, like something a project, maybe it can be a 3D project or it can be a project to implement a microcontroller or something which can control uh, some uh, things like robo uh, robotics. Once you understand how to implement this one, you just need to go come with these ICs and implement the circuit. It can be a circuit which is controlling what traffic rates, like now in any country. So what you do, you implement what you come with uh, maybe a sensors. You come with the, these road circuits, then once you do them that way, it will be easier for you to control the what? Or to make a project to control the traffic lights. Because the truth is, without this digital electronics, I don't know where the, the word would be. Because it is these uh, digital systems are using these uh, logic gates to implement various circuits, to implement various operations, to do various operation industries, to do uh, various operations in the avionics industry, all the industries which require what motors to control motors, for example, to switch on maybe uh, traffic lights, to switch on what security lights, to monitor the and the record and do all of those programs, they require the technology or the understanding of digital electronics. Particularly today, we have done under Roach Gates, so that somebody will understand. Thank you for today. When we shall meet in the next, since we now we have done what the logic gates, I, we shall move next to the sum of the product and the product of the, of the sum, and then we do what the Kano map, and also we do what Borean algebra. We see the Borean algebra and the K map, which one is easier to implement, so that now from there we shall be moving to things like what free flops, and we implement them. So thank you so much for today. We shall meet in the next lesson.